Now, though, it has been a dramatic week for Emmerdale's Nikki and Gabby after their love story took a real twist. Are you harassing me? You wish. Maybe. She told me this is the happiest she's ever been in her entire life. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> when we clean Kim out, I want to make sure she's got no alternative source of income. I've always got time for you. I don't think I can do this anymore. No, 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 you can and you will. You are not going to throw this all away because of some lad. Please, Dad! Once we're married, I want you to adopt Thomas. I can't marry you. Because I'm gay. But it was too big of a thing to go through when Gabby starts talking about me adopting Thomas. <laughs> Has someone done this to you? Right, we are going to clean you up and you are going to talk. Well. Lewis Cope, who plays Nikki, of course, and Rosie Bentham, who plays Gabby, join me now. Oh, dear, God love him. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Under Caleb is horrible. His dad is horrible, isn't he? Yeah. He's it's... the worst. Yeah, he's completely ma manipulated him right from the beginning. Yeah. Exactly. It's really sad. And, of course, do you know what? Your first disastrous wedding... I know. Can I just say it probably won't be your last? <laughs> I know. I, I know <laughs> a lot go of to people plan. more. <laughs> I know, I know. It's, it's, it's really sad, isn't it? Yeah. But, um, it's been good fun at the same time. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's important as well. It just shows how people can be manipulated and how, you know, bullied and all of these mm. things. It's just really, really awful, but a shambles. <laughs> a shambles of a wedding. Very, very sad. You two got on really well, though. You know, you really yeah, do. We I were mean, talking to Catherine earlier on, weren't we? But you've got to have that chemistry. Yeah. It works. We went straight for the kind of steamy scenes from the get go, yeah. <laughs> but we knew it, we knew it was coming, and you know we get along really well. You can kind of make a joke out of it. Of so. course you can, of course, absolutely, because we've seen you. You've grown up. Yeah, I mean, In I joined Emma when I was fifteen, so um, and I'm twenty one now. So, Gosh. Um, so and it's gone by in a flash, hasn't it? It's has, gone by in an absolute yeah. flash. And you were involved in one of the, I think, one of the most important and really. One of the storylines that really impacted on everyone mm. was the Alzheimer's storyline. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, that was, was incredible, it was, it wasn't was it? It was amazing. So well done. I got thrown kind of straight in at the deep end with that, with John Middleton and Charlotte Bellamy, who play Laurel and Ashley. Um, and just to watch that, like, it was just amazing and, and it had such good feedback. It was, um, it was very important. Yeah. It got a lot of people... That's, see, that's what you guys can do. You get, it gets a lot of people talking. Yeah. Because with the storyline that you're involved in, it might, you know, there might be young men and women watching, not quite sure how to, you know, should they say something, should they not? And that, it just, it just sparks a conversation, mm. which is a good thing. It's a really good thing. Yeah. Now, when you're... When, because I think one of the hardest things is that it's so fast-paced, yeah. isn't it? When you're running lines and things like that, do you just do that yourself in the bathroom or do you get help? <laughs> if, if I've got a really heavy day, yeah, yeah. Um, then like my, my partner, Rachel, she'll help me the night before, just kind right. of fly through them because yeah, That's sometimes good. there's so much there. Because she's an actress, of course, so that helps. Yeah. That absolutely helps, it really does. And um, you have got, now you've joined Emmerdale and it feels like you've been there for ages, but do you still <laughs> feel like the new, the new guy in a, it, in a way? Yeah, it's strange, because when you join, you feel so new, and then after a week or something, you feel like you've been there for 10 years. Because everybody's so friendly, and it is a family, a big family. You are used to that. How many brothers and sisters <laughs> have you got? <laughs> so I'm one of 14. 14? Yeah, yeah. Good grief, what is Christmas like it's round at your house? Lovely, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Best it must day, be yeah. bedlam, absolute <laughs> bedlam. Yeah. That is amazing. And but most of your most of your family they're involved in boxing, aren't they? Especially your brothers. But you wanted to do something different. Yeah. So I've got at the minute there's two brothers who are like current professionals. Proper. Wow. Two who are ex ex pros right. and then one who's an amateur as well. So yeah, wow. we're all involved. It's a great way to keep fit, of course. <laughs> do you ever do any like that? Because you are obviously. Isn't he very fit? <laughs> no sense of the words, right? <laughs> Don't tell him that. <laughs> You've made me do. <laughs> <laughs> but you do it, but you just wanted to do it. something that you wanted to do. You wanted to do acting, you wanted to do that. It was something that you needed to do. Yeah, my mum was really brilliant when we were younger. She would kind of take us all to different classes, whether that be, you know, boxing, rugby, really? football, whatever. And then just whatever you whatever stuck, stuck. And for me it was dancing and performing. Oh, that's fantastic. And you also worked with David Beckham, didn't you? What was that for? What did you do? He did a, a campaign called Bold Instinct for one of his fragrances. And it was basically that storyline, so it was that all my brothers are boxers and that I chose to dance. 
Oh, so, that makes sense. Yeah. So he handpicked you. That's yeah, rather did. lovely. Yeah. And did you always know, though, and you know, because you know when you get the call for something like Emmerdale, it's such a big deal. Yeah. You know, when you get that call, it must have been the same for you mm. as, as well. That, that, that real kind of thing, Rosie, that you get the call and it's like, wow, that moment must be amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realise how big Emmerdale was. Well, you like, were so young, weren't yeah. you? You were so young when you joined. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, now kind of just getting recognised on the streets and stuff like that, it's... Yeah, I've, I've been warned a lot about Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, don't do it, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I know, I know, because we do invest and we do think yeah, that you're real, do, yeah. the characters are real. But that's a testament to you and the writers and, and everybody yeah. to, that makes it like that. But I hope, I hope somehow, because obviously they, they love each other. Mm. You know, yeah. they love they, yeah, yeah. they do they yeah. do and and he loves her very much yeah. not just like that but he just yeah. he just loves her so hopefully they can somehow find some sort of way to do all this there's still a lot of love there it's like it's just a difficult one you've kind of been forced in yeah um and it, but it's heartbreaking for gabby like knowing that he's lied to her this whole time i don't think she's going to make no. anything easy for him after this no um, that's true i think it would be nice to see them you know, connect without the influence yeah, maybe of on a dad. friendship level. Like Surely he's been. going to get his comeuppance, that Callum. He must. He has to. Well, with he Kim Tate to. around the corner, she'll definitely... Because <laughs> oh. he's just after the money, go. isn't he? That's what it's all about. Well, he's it's just, just to look after, after his mum, basically. So he, the, the reason he's doing it is actually for good. It's to look after his mum. Mm, I'm not sure I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure about that. It is, it is, it is. I guess, I guess. Well, look, we're looking forward to Emmerdale, obviously. It's on tonight, half past seven, ITV1. Thank you both. You and give my love to everyone in Emmerdale. They're a cracking bunch. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. See you.